I'll have up to uh, 100 scooters available for rent here in Warren, Ohio. I will release 25 today and then I will increase it as we grow. BusinessJournalDaily.com, Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Can you describe your company and in in its business model? Well, our company is um, electric scooter rentals and we use them to, you know, get around. They go a 40 mile radius on a battery charge. Um, you can rent them in increments of $5, $20 and $50. The higher you go, the longer you ride. How did you wind up in Warren? Um, I reached out to the company. I was out of state and I seen some other fleet managers as well. So I reached out to the company. They responded back in a few months and we started to launch here first and then our goal is to expand to the Youngstown area as well. I'll have up to 100 scooters available for rent here in Warren, Ohio. I will release 25 today and then I will increase it as we grow. Where in Warren are people going to be able to um, come there will be. I'll up? have them around here downtown, I'll have them around the park area, um, public areas that you're able to see them and rent them. So no private property, they'll always be on a public property. You know, we're really excited to just see more electric mobility happening in, this, in the city. Uh, I firmly believe that Warren is the capital of the Voltage Valley, and it's really cool that, you know, we have these scooters here. Uh, they're really great for kind of last mile transportation, you know, for me being downtown and being able to get to the Sunrise or the Mocha House, uh, or for people that are busing downtown and want to be able to go to their jobs that are, you know, not necessarily a close walk, uh, but a, a good scooter ride. Uh, so we're excited to be able to be a part of that kind of last mile. And we're really excited that the city of Warren and the mayor and uh, Mike Keyes were able to bring this opportunity here. Sarah, uh, you got a chance to sample that. What was it like? What did you think? I was very nervous because my last experience on a scooter, I was under the age of 10 and I wobbled a lot. So I've had a fear for over 20 years of scooters. So it, it says a lot to me today to trust the bird to actually try it out. And then uh, after the first 50 feet or so, it was okay. So I, I definitely won't be riding them again. How do you think this concept's going to be accepted here in the Mahoning Valley? I think there will be great acceptance of this product. I think there's definitely a need, um, you know, youth, um, people that, uh, you know, just don't feel comfortable owning, have their own car, can utilize these, um, just getting around town. I would love to use this around Packard Park. I go there during my lunch break, but sometimes I end up all the way at the other end of the park and I have to get back for a meeting. So now I know I can look for one of these and get back to work on time. So I think it'll be a great addition to the community. Do you have an estimated time frame for when you think you will launch in Youngstown or is that basically uh, you're just looking at how quickly it's accepted here in Warren? Depending on our success here, we'll expand out, you know, because if we get everything up and running and everything so successful, we want to even go farther than Youngstown. But we aim to start here and grow from there. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com. Businessjournaldaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong.